Thank you. Yeah, I would like to present you today my uh, newest side project <laughs> of like tens of side projects that I have. Um, and it's a new way to explore um, a city. So it's called everysinglestreet.gl. And the inspiration for this project was basically sometimes I just walk around the city, but when I walk to work, I always like use the same streets every time. I have my favorite parks, my favorite restaurants, and just always don't really explore the city, um, just walking the same rounds. Um, and I wanted to change this, so I wanted to stimulate my brain a little bit more. I wanted to see something new, and sometimes it's best to just go into it, go into the extreme, and why not walk every single street of your city, even though it's quite a big one. Um, so the first question of, like, is there already software available? Not too important for me, to be honest, because I just wanted to build my own anyway. But uh, let's try what already exists. Um, then what is a walkable street? Like, I don't want to walk every single uh, pass on every park. Um, I don't think I will ever finish this project. Um, then some problems that arise is I, it's easy to just track your GPS data when you walk, um, but it's not the easiest to map it to the actual street network. Um, then the last two points are basically um, um, interleaved a little bit. Like I want to keep motivated because I know I will take a couple of years uh, for this. So I want to track my progress in different ways. Um, so the websites that already exist are streetferret and citystrides.com. I checked them out both. I um, feel free to use them if you don't want to program, if you are not a Julia nerd. I don't know where they are, but, um, but yeah, those exist. Um, there was some functionality that I was missing for some, so I built my own. Um, I'm really glad that OpenStreetMap exists, otherwise I think I would not build my own. Uh, with LightOSM.jl, um, I can use it in Julia. I use uh, Strava to just keep track of my uh, GPS data. And Oxygen.jl for like API stuff. Then um, there was no map matching algorithm yet implemented in Julia, at least I couldn't find one. Um, so I built my own. Then I use uh, an app because I didn't want to develop an app myself, but it's quite flexible. I will show you some stuff later. And to keep me motivated, basically, a statistics breakdown of it's not that nice if you walk and you're like, oh, you finished 0.05%. Um, so maybe break it down into districts or stuff like that. Um, let's start with some interesting tasks that I had to, uh, to fix to build. Uh, the first one, and Basically, the most important one is map matching. So you see here, you have the actual GPS track. Um, and on the right side, you basically have it uh, mapped to the, um, to the street network. Um, so you get basically some candidate points. Like the easiest approach would be to just map it to the closest street. Uh, but that sometimes fails. So. Um, especially when streets are quite uh, close together and GPS in the city is also not always the best. Um, so you have to do some uh, probability stuff with hidden Markov models. Then another interesting task is basically, um, let, like you want to have a visualization of it, you want to use it on your, on your phone. Um, so you need a tile server that when you zoom in, you see the, the streets that you are interested in. This is not built in Julia. Um, at some point, I might try, but so far, there is existing stuff out there which works. Um, then another interesting thing was to do like full automization of everything. So um, like Strava, you can connect to the API. Um, so Basically, I receive a new walk from Strava. I do map matching on a, on a small server. Um, then I do the tile generation and push statistics back. Um, so basically, what you, what you see there, I don't want to go too far away from the microphone, but um, you see that uh, this is my walk where I finished 20% of my city after one year. 
Um, you have some statistics breakdown for the districts. And to the full right, you basically see a stripped down version of, uh, of the map. And in, uh, in green, you see what I already walked. Um, then some upcoming tasks. I want to maybe do some routing algorithms. Um, but that's quite hard because you don't really sometimes know what actually is your goal. Like, do you want to walk from here to there? Do you just want to spend five hours in district, district for a day? <laughs> Stuff like that. Um, then uh, something that I still have to figure out is how to, for this, like this is quite close by, by the way. So um, I use it also for Eindhoven now. Uh, this Williamstraat um, is like, basically a two lane with like a pedestrian island in the middle and I don't want to really walk both of them. Um, then I want to keep track of maybe changes in OpenStreetMap and uh, maybe in the long run also create a website for non-Julia or Julia users, feel free to use it, uh, maybe in Genie. Then some short statistics so far, uh, Hamburg, the city where I walk uh, and live has over 4,000 kilometers of walkable streets. Um, so far, I have 28% of it reached, and after the first year, 20%. Um, some links. So this is the project. Uh, this is my blog where uh, you can read more about the projects. For map matching, I have a blog post, for example, and some, some other links. Thank you, and happy walking, running, cycling, whatever you want to choose. Thank you so much. I think we have time for one question. So does anybody have a question? All right. Th thanks, Ole, for this cool project. I was wondering, the, the typical formulation of this problem of walking every street is known as the postman problem. Uh, in your case, how would you modify it to have certain goals like uh, leisurely walks or visit or whatever? Like, what, what would be your first tweaks to this standard problem? Um, so I think the biggest problem with uh, like the standard formulation would be that I don't want to walk this every time, which is probably the best choice, but it's not really nice to just, okay, I want to go in that direction, then I go back, then I go there, then I go back. So um, maybe I want to have like more scenic rounds of different, like going to the same district like 20 times instead of finishing it up in one. Um, but I think that is quite specific for this type of task. So. <laughs>